வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த எரித்ரோ பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ் ஃபிட்டாலிஸ் எரித்ரோ பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ் ஃபிட்டாலிஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த பிளட் ஃபிசியாலஜி ரொட்டீன்லி ஆஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் த யூனிவர்சிட்டி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் எரித்ரோ Plastosis fetalis occurs when the mother is RH negative and the father is RH positive and the child is RH positive means it may be occur erythroplastosis fetalis mother should be RH negative child should be RH positive it's mainly depend on the father may be RH positive the uh, erythroplastosis fetalis entrance of the rh positive fetal cells into the rh negative maternal circulation during the first pregnancy so rh positive cells enter into the rh negative maternal circulation during the first pregnancy usually after the delivery of the first baby usually occurs after the clamping the during the clamping the umbilical cord some fetal blood is enter into the maternal circulation usually first baby may be normal production of the and d and body in the mother takes 2 to 4 weeks and persists for the long time this is and d and body it will take 2 to 4 weeks after the entry of the fetal rbc into the mother it persists for the long time during the first pregnancy suppose during the second pregnancy if the child is rh positive the andd and body from the mother's plasma enter into the fetal circulation via placenta cause agglutination of the rbc erythroblastosis fetalis occur in the second pregnancy the mother is rh negative when the fetus is rh positive so erythroplastosis fetalis chance of occurring is a 3 to 10 percent in the second pregnancy it may be increase in the subsequent pregnancy most commonest feature of the erythroplastosis fetalis is the large number of erythroplast erythroplast is the precursor cells of rbc in the peripheral blood so it is due to the more activation of the bone marrow due to the destruction of the fetal rbc by the arg and the rh antibody from the mother plasma so it produces the due to chemolysis more number of the cells produce so it is more mainly the erythroplast so it is called as the erythroplastosis fetalis reticulocytosis is common reticulocyte is the immediate precursor of the rbc so reticulocyte count may be increase in the erythroplastosis fetalis and severe hemolytic anemia is due to the, due to the fetal rbc is destroyed by the and the rh antibody from the mother plasma through the fetal circulation and anemia is the usual cause of the cause of the death in the erythroplastosis fetalis vitreous cavus neonatorum occur when the mother is rh negative fetus is the rh positive vitreous means jaundice so jaundice is the within the 24 hours of the birth due to the excessive blue ribbon from the hemolyzed rbc by the rh antibody from the mother's plasma so this is the pathological jaundice okay so in the physiological jaundice occur in the 2 to 3 days after the delivery it is mainly due to the excessive production of the rbc due to the Uh, rbc may be produced from the liver spleen 
other than the bone marrow so it will subside within the one week usually we keep the newborn babies under the early morning sunrise for it to convert the bilirubin to the lumirubin inactive lumirubin so physiological jaundice appear 2 to 3 days subside within the one week one week to 10 days pathological jaundice i occur immediately within the 24 hours of the birth it is compensated by the enlarged spleen and liver in the ectrus cavus neonatal cernicterus may be appear in the erythroblastosis vitalis excessive bilirubin crosses the blood brain barrier in the newborn and the blood brain barrier is not well developed so easily bilirubin crosses the blood brain barrier deposited usually deposited in the basal ganglia basal ganglia of the brain and it produces the <coughs> motor and mental impairment cross motor and mental impairment occur in the cernicterus due to the it deposited in the basal ganglia basal ganglia main function is the motor movements that is affected in the cernicterus it usually occur when the bilirubin level is more than 18 mg percent it usually occur when the bilirubin level is more than 18 mg percent site of fetalis is the severe manifestation of the erythroblastosis fetalis the hemolytic disease of the newborn it produces a cross edematous fetus cross edematous fetus produces a severe jaundice usually fetus die within the uterus within the uterus or die immediately after the birth prevention of the erythroblastosis fetalis by injecting the single dose of the anti rh antibody that is called as the anti d to the mother immediately after the delivery especially within the 48 to 72 hours after the delivery we should give to the mother after delivering the first baby it is the passive immunization we give the antibodies this antibodies destroy the rh positive rbcs from the fetus enter into the maternal circulation okay so that destroy the rh positive rbcs from the fetus enter into the maternal circulation antibody formation in the mother is prevented this is it will not allow the formation of the antibody in the mother it will persist and it will affect the second baby and subsequent pregnancy that will is prevented by the anti d antibody this is the main treatment of the erythro prevention of the erythroblastosis fetalis summary of erythroblastosis fetalis when the rh negative mother deliver the rh positive baby during the first pregnancy fetal cell enter into the mother circulation first baby usually may be normal second baby is commonly affected the erythroblastosis fetalis more number of the erythroblasts appear in the peripheral blood hemolysis more hemolysis so that produces the jaundice severe anemia so ectrus cravis neonatarum hydrops fetalis is the commonest features it can be prevented by the injecting the anti d antibody anti rh antibody into the mother immediately after the delivery especially 24 to 48 hours after the delivery thank you for watching this video if you like this video share your friends thank you once again